Hey guys, welcome to another Yazzie's Universe, and today I'm going to be filming part two of the Five Nights at Freddy's Wave 2 unboxing, because I know that you guys love my Five Nights at Freddy's unboxing. So, usually these guys have been, like, discontinued and expensive, so luckily I've got these. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to be comparing. I'm going to be starting with Bonnie, because he is one of the characters that gave Scott nightmares, which was, I believe, what started Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So, here is Nightmare Bonnie, right here, and I think he looks fantastic, phenomenal job, he looks almost exactly identical to the character made by Scott. Now, I, sadly, he does not come with a guitar, but I do know that Wave 1 Bonnie does. He comes with his own little guitar, his little doodad. So, Nightmare Bonnie can have something to jam with during, like, anything time I play with him, or when he wants to hunt me down in my bedroom and me just standing in the corner like, he's don't. He's like, I'm gonna sing you to death. Ha ha ha! So yeah, that'll be fun. And now for comparing. Now, something I noticed is that Wave 2 Nightmare Bonnie has curled ears, more detail in the ears because they're curled. Unlike Wave 1 Bonnie, which is basically just flat-eared. He just stands up, so nice to see that they got detailed with the ears the bows look identical to the figures but at least in the game they are completely different i noticed that this guy has a less rounded figure than the original violence of freddy's wave one gang so i also noticed that this guy has whiskers unlike wave one bonnie so here's that and to get on to the next figures, I'm just gonna quickly do this, but here is him next to Springtrap, which looks more similar since they're both um, withered and tattered up. Brother, is that you? <laughs> now we're gonna move on to Chica. Now, give me a second, I'm gonna set up her cupcake for later, so please hold. Anyway, if we look here, she looks really detailed. Even in the back, she looks really detailed. So, I noticed that her eyes in this one wave is blue and red. Cool with the double eyes. I noticed that she has cupcake in her hand instead of on a plate. So, that's nice to throw him at you. To throw him at your face. And, um... Her bib is all, like, tattered and destroyed like a rag now. Now, comparison time to Chica. As we can see, they both have their cupcakes. Now, comparison to the cupcakes, side quest. So, one of them is on a plate while the other is not. One of them has a sweet, toothy grin while the other's just kind of doing little country buck teeth, like... Yeah, and um, Nightmare Cupcake is just like, just angry for no reason. So yeah, he's like, I'm gonna eat you. And cu this Cupcake is like, no empty, empty thoughts. <laughs> I'm a cupcake. So uh, he's more of a civilized cupcake. Now, if we take a look at Chica, we can tell that she's more civilized with her bib because this one, she actually decided to do something about her rags. And uh, actually look presentable to the audience. And I noticed that the bird feet look different. This one has two feet with painted toenails. Odd, odd, but, you know, girly, you know, they do things. And here she has three. Looking odd, kind of like Toy Chica. So, <clears throat> I believe, oh, yes. Nightmare Chica came with the main star for the build figure, she came with um, <clears throat> Nightmarion, and so because usually Foxy gets the main piece, 
because he's the fan favorite. So they gave Chica time to shine, which also I forgot to mention. Bonnie, I forgot which piece specifically. I believe it was an arm. If I'm wrong, don't come for me in the comments, please. I beg of you. You're better than this. So, yeah. So, we're almost close to building this little guy. Now, lastly, is Funtime Foxy, which strikes confusion to many people because she's supposed to kind of be like Mangle, and even if she wasn't called Mangle, wouldn't she be Toy Foxy? Well, actually, no. Funko did something a little risky, but pulled it off. Since they didn't have a model for a fixed Mangle, they used the adventure, the adventure version of Mangle from FNAF World, which was called Funtime Foxy. So if you want to differentiate Funtime, this Funtime Foxy to sister location, you can call this Toy Funtime Foxy, but besides that, basically, that's why. So basically, it's a mix of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Mangle, and FNAF World. So yeah, on choice, but finally, she gets a tail! Finally, it's got... You, you, you give the fox a tail. Hooray! So, she looks pretty cool to me. She decided to paint her whole toes pink instead of just her toenails. Odd choice. Again, girls do weird things. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I think they did a phenomenal job on this figure. Seems out of place, but at least we got Toy Foxy or Fun Tip Foxy. And she comes with the leg, the final piece for Nightmarian. Woohoo! Now I'm going to be building him quickly. Please hold. Please hold. Can't wait to meet you. To join the animatronic family. We up and real soon. Boom! Not Marion! Looking as scary as ever! Hold on, let me pose him to look more scary. Zooming at you! If you look at him on the bed sheet, he looks extra scary. Whoa, it's like looking in a mirror. Ew. So, this is gonna be hard to dislike since he got little crab legs, but I'll make do. He looks extra scary, extra slender man, puppet scary, and um, I definitely scream in terror. Thank you. I can see that his like ribs are kind of like out, as you can see, whatever you call these. And he looks like the puppet, the, the poop it, but without puppety. So, I think he looks really cool and cool to add to my collection. So, thank you for watching and watching me just share with you stuff I love, like Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you like and subscribe, share this with a friend, and if you don't have any friends, share with the world and stuff, and I will see you next time. Stay bright because you're a shining galaxy. Bye!